I bet you I can. Challenge is accepted. It's clone you. I had to figure out exactly where you are. I saw you tonguing down a roller coaster while it's going 100 miles an hour. I zoomed in on the background and I saw six flags. I also saw the drop tower ride in the back. The same one they have at Six Flags Magic Mountain in California. I took my cloning kit in my hand and drove six hours to Six Flags. Once I arrived, the security let me inside the theme park with my cloning kit so I could swab your DNA. Now, I had to find the exact white roller coaster that you lit. I asked this employee if he knew where that roller coaster was and he pointed me in the right direction. He said it was on the other side of the theme park one half a mile away. I then walked across the entire theme park until I found the roller coaster that you lit. Now, I had to figure out a way to get onto the roller coaster. I then waited in the two hour and a half line. From the full footage, I saw you were on seat 117. Once I got to the right, I started looking for seat 117 and I found it. I boarded seat 117. I had my DNA swab ready to swab your DNA. And for the three minute roller coaster ride, I then attempted to swab your entire DNA off the roller coaster. It was extremely bumpy, but I did not give up. I had to make sure to get just enough for an entire DNA sample. This takes precise swabbing and scientific methods. After I swabbed just enough of your DNA off the roller coaster, it was time to put it inside my chemical grade case. I had to make sure I didn't drop the DNA. As the roller coaster was picking up speeds, I placed your DNA Q-tip inside my tube. I securely fastened it up so it didn't move or get damaged. I then placed it in my bulletproof protective casing and closed it up and headed back to my DNA laboratory to clone you. Back at my DNA laboratory, I took your DNA outside my protective casing. Now, I always make sure to do a little bit of inspection before I take your DNA out the case. After everything looked good, I had my assistant give me a sterile agar plate. I then placed your DNA swab inside my agar plate. My assistant then handed me Cytochrome 437 solution and I doused your DNA inside. I then took my $40,000 microscope and placed your DNA underneath it. What I'm checking for here is to make sure the DNA is undamaged and ready and good to be cloned. I had my assistant double check as well to make sure it was good and it looked absolutely amazing. You can see the reaction enzymes which is used to split the DNA into two pieces. After everything looked good, I put your DNA inside my hydrated cylinder vector. I then inserted the DNA into the vector and placed deoxy nucleotide down my DNA diffuser. I then placed the entire cylinder on my TE buffer. This prevents the degradation of the DNA by maintaining a smooth pH level. I let it spin for over 40 days straight. After stage 7 was complete, this is currently you after a few tests went wrong. But if everything does go correctly soon, I will have another version of you.